especially you've got a class in a package or something and uh, you want to refer to a class or an interface in a different package then first of all that um, other class or interface has got to be marked as public otherwise you can't get it, it effectively just doesn't exist as far as that class is concerned now one way to do that is you can specify the um, fully qualified class name that's one way to get at it or alternatively um, because uh, these package names can be quite long you can you can use um, an import statement and uh, all the import statement does effectively is just saves a lot of typing now uh, import statements come in two forms there's the um, import followed by the fully qualified name for the class or the interface and um, that allows you to refer to that class or interface uh, using just its class name or interface name uh, and that's a lot shorter obviously than having to put the whole package name in front of that class or interface uh, the second form is called import on demand now any given package of course can have quite a whole load of uh, public classes and public interfaces so import on demand um, allows you to refer to any of the public classes or interfaces by using just the just the name just the class name or interface name now every compilation unit automatically imports java lang dot star so um, that package in fact is uh, done automatically by the compiler you don't have to put that in and um, inside that package is uh, quite a few classes uh, things like uh, string math um, system amongst others and there, there's quite a few of them if you want to see what they are you can uh, if you look at this URL that will give you a whole list of um, what's in the package and all the methods inside each of those classes in the package and so on now for um, the source file layout um, I'm using the word source file here I mean I could say compilation units it's the same thing um, it starts the first thing it has to start with is the package statement if it's present and then it's followed by zero or more import statements and then zero or more classes or interface declarations and that's the defined order so um, every single class or interface that follows in here is going to be in that package there just the single package statement and um, these uh, import statements apply to all the classes so any class down here can use something referred to by that import any of these import statements and uh, you can see from this of course that um, you could just have the package statement and nothing else that wouldn't be very useful but it's, it, it will actually compile and in fact even a completely blank empty file will compile as well it doesn't produce anything of course but um, it compiles not that it's very use of course any use at all but um, there you go